Today, state lawmakers greenlighting an audit to investigate the California State University system in their handling of sexual harassment and misconduct complaints. Madaris Babb joining us live in studio. And Madaris, this comes after reports allege the mishandling of sexual harassment complaints at three CSU campuses, including Fresno State. That's right, Alexon and Stephanie. And those several news reports claim that the CSU system not only mishandled these complaints, but paid out officials to protect the CSU system. Officials hope that with this state audit, they will help rebuild the public trust. The blistering valley sun beats down on the mostly empty Fresno State campus during summer break. In just a few months, nearly half a million students will flood 23 Cal State universities. But several news reports and state officials question the safety of these campuses. This system brought about an embarrassment to the university. It cost substantial reputations. In February 2022, a series of explosive USA Today articles detailed at least a dozen sexual harassment complaints over six years against Fresno State Vice President of Student Affairs Frank Lamas. Documents show that despite the complaints, Fresno State gave Lamas the Lifetime Achievement Award, a $260,000 payout, and a letter of recommendation from former Fresno State President Joseph Castro as long as Lamas never worked for a CSU campus again. Castro was then promoted to CSU Chancellor. This is a real stain on our CSU system. Following backlash from the reports, Castro signed a settlement agreement and resigned as CSU Chancellor. Because of what's called, quote, retreat rights, Castro can teach at another CSU campus as a tenured professor for $400,000 a year. The CSU system is paying a firm to do a statewide assessment of all Title IX policies and procedures, but the CSU Employees Union and over 40 state legislators called for an independent state audit where results will be public and transparent. CSU Employees Union President Katherine Hutchinson sent a statement that reads, quote, student and employee safety at any university must be a number one priority. We look forward to the audit shining a light on management, transparency and accountability. The CSU audit is underway and the state audit will start its own audit once the CSU audit is completed or four months from today. Reporting live in studio, Madaris Bab, KC24, local news that matters.